Uh, yeah, routine annual physical, PSA levels were elevated, and fortunately my primary care doctor uh, just didn't let go. He kept calling and calling and calling. Uh, you know how it is, you get busy sometimes and you figure ah, it's no, it's nothing. Um, and insisted uh, when he finally uh, did make contact with me that I get a uh, biopsy. So did the biopsy uh, within a couple weeks from that phone call and discovered that, uh, yeah, in fact, I had a tumor uh, uh, on my prostate, so, or in my prostate. Um, man, it was quite shocking mm -hmm. to, uh, uh, to hear that. Um, and uh, just did a lot of research online to try and figure out what was going on, what were uh, uh, my options and, and the ways to go. Um, and uh, I'm in the technology field, so uh, I don't uh, have an aversion to it. And this just seemed, uh, from everything that I could uh, find out, uh, which wasn't a whole lot, by the way, uh, we just, it just seemed like the best way to go. Um, definitely, had to have a surgery, so it wasn't a question of to have or not have, it was just uh, a question of what was the best uh, uh, procedure to use. Uh, I uh, have a very vivid memory of the, the, the conversation um, when it was, uh, uh, when uh, uh, Dr. Michelle revealed to me that uh, uh, I in fact had cancer. Uh, I sat in front of him and his, uh, the words that came out of his mouth were, your cancer is, not you have cancer, pause, your cancer is, and here's what we can do. Um, that kind of gave me, a, in a strange way, a little bit more confidence. Um, uh, there wasn't anything in anybody here that was defeatist, like it was over. And then um, by the end of that uh, uh, initial meeting, I was like, okay, we're going to, we got some options, we can do something here. And uh, um, so I started talking to the staff and they started telling me of, uh, of how much success they have had, uh, how many people have actually uh, uh, beat it. Because uh, I was asking them, what a horrible place to work. Uh, how can you, work, you know, every day you've got people coming in and you have to tell them they have uh, 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 terminal disease and uh, well, it's, it's not necessarily terminal. And uh, uh, actually, uh, uh, we like it here because uh, uh, we get to see a lot of happy people who beat this thing. So y you have to understand. Uh, for me, uh, it was uh, it was like my it, it was major surgery. But within the next very next day, I was up walking around in the hospital, and the day after that, I was released and I was home. Uh, I didn't have any of the issues with uh, incontinence or uh, 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 any of that kind of stuff. Uh, within um, uh, about three to four weeks, I was uh, back to normal. Um, so for me, it was just uh, routine coming in um, uh, a lot in the beginning, and then it's been just come in every three months. Uh, it's been quite routine, so th there hasn't been a whole lot of need for uh, uh, any sort of uh, comforting or <laughs> uh, special stuff. Right. Uh, it, it's kind of bizarre. In, in, in a lot of respects, uh, I feel like nothing even happened. Thank you. Well, you, you should be doing uh, blood tests every year because the PSA uh, level stuff is, is uh, that will, will show it. It's an amazing thing and it's only been around, a, I don't know, a decade or two. It hasn't been around that long. Uh, in fact, what was quite interesting is uh, after uh, I got this, uh, I started, I told my family, uh, and I come from a large family, and no one had told me, but two of my uncles died of prostate cancer, and then I discovered my nephew had prostate cancer, and he's younger, so he kept it uh, quiet. Uh, I, it, it was amazing how many people had, uh, uh, in my family, had uh, uh, encountered this.